High youth joblessness and soaring prices, among other problems, fueled the mass student-led demonstrations that ousted Sheikh Hasina's government. The weeks-long violent protests have worsened the situation. Bangladesh was thrust into the global spotlight as weeks of large-scale, violent unrest forced the country's longtime premier, Sheikh Hasina, to quit and flee to neighboring India. The mass protests began as a student movement against quotas in government jobs but then escalated into a broader anti-government uprising. The quota scheme reserved over half of well-paid and secure government jobs for specific groups, and many protesters saw it as discriminatory and unfair, particularly at a time when Bangladesh is facing economic stress. There weren't many jobs being created in the private sector as well, Austin H. Mansour, an economist and director of Policy Research Institute of Bangladesh, told DW. The unemployment issue is the root cause of the student movement, he added, not enough jobs for the youth. During Hasina's 15-year rule, Bangladesh made some economic progress, building big-ticket projects such as highways, rail lines and ports, as well as expanding the electric grid. The country's garment industry also became one of the world's most competitive. But the $450 billion, 412 billion euros economy has struggled since the COVID-19 pandemic. Shrinking foreign exchange reserves pushed the Hasina government to even seek a multi-billion dollar loan from the International Monetary Fund. Even though the South Asian country's gross domestic product GDP is currently growing at over 5% annually, it has struggled to create enough, decent-paying jobs for its vast youth population. Nearly half of Bangladesh's 170 million people are age under 30. While it is generally seen as a demographic dividend, it could turn into a demographic curse if these people can't find productive employment, said Mansour. Joblessness among people aged 15 to 24 in the country was a high 15.7% in 2023, according to the International Labour Organization. At the same time, hundreds of thousands of young new graduates are entering the labor market every year. But they are not employable, given the extremely poor quality of education and the lack of required skills, Mansur said, pointing out that the youth felt deprived, cheated upon and that they will never get employed.